Alright, we made it to week five's main event! Woohoo! Paul, are you getting excited right now? I sure am, Brandon. And this week, we will decide our new Superstar of the Week champion. That's right, because Zach Arson won the previous three individual main events in a row. Right, so, so now he can't compete again. Anyways, week five's main event will feature Kai Hugelson, the AC Gamewood title folks, Jason Hill, and the Bobby Mater, Bobby K. And just a reminder, all donations in the virtual process will be going towards local charities courtesy of our executive power partner, Duncan. Make sure to help us out then. There's look at the lineup for our main event. <coughs> and here we go. Let's see who is going to win it all. Let's find out who will be the new Superstar of the Week champion for Charlie Sing 2020. Everyone is on the clock. So without further ado, let's rock this place. All right, the fans are rocking towards all their might here in the virtual Chow Racing Stadium. As we conclude week five's edition of Chow Racing 2020, airing on CETB, Chow Edward TV. Right now, the four main event participants are going to eat the pottery to bring down that coconut tree fruit. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And there goes our four competitors. They are heading neck to neck. Heading into the bridges. They are now in the Amethyst portion of the Emerald Course. And it looks like Kai Yugoslav is going to be heading for the water. Oh, and down goes Jason Hill. Oh, at the bridges. Poor Jason Hill. Anyway, it's number eight who will get the first speed bus of week five's action. <clears throat> right now, Bobby K and Tyler Folks are going to be battling over at the bridges. With Jason Hill not too far behind in the crowd. They're catching up, alright. And the Bobby made it, Bobby K will get Speedbus number two. I don't think any of the Silver Channel took a shortcut. So Kai Hugelson, yeah, Kai Hugelson is going to have command of the lead over the four main event participants. As number eight, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then, gets a number ten. That makes his second Speedbus of the race. We are approaching one minute, and Bobby K is trying his best to catch up with our current leader, Kai Hugelson, and Bobby K is going to rest. Now he's time for us with a command of second place over at the middle of the pack, but here comes Bobby K with his second speed bus. Number 8 and Bobby K are alternating speed bus right now. Meanwhile, Kai Hugelson going for his first win of his challenge in Korea after five weeks. Well, what happened today? Well, Jason Hill will have the next class for us. And take a look at poor number eight. He is stranded in last place behind the pack. Number seven is also getting left behind. He's in seventh place. Both number seven and number eight really near to speed miles from the crowd. But back to Jason Hill. He was going to rest, now he's climbing up the wall. Kai Yogosan now has the lead, and Tyler Falls is going to rest. So Bobby K will again have control of second place. Jason Hill will also have a little bit of catching up to do, but I do believe Kai Yogosan is going to get his best long away win of the season. Next place belongs to number one, and look at that. He now has command on lead with Porter Chow for the moment. And right now, Kai Yugoslav back up in the very front is trying to wrap things up. As number two will get a turn now, Kai Yugoslav defending the lead over all three of his opponents. He is going to get the job done this week as the new Super Saiyan Week champ. Kai Yugoslav is our main event winner for week five. And number two with back to back spears is going to win the battle over the boy Super Child with fifth place. So Kai Yugoslav is our new Super Saiyan Week champion. That's right. That means we'll see him again in two weeks from now when we have our next individual main event, which will occur for week seven. Next week will be our tag team excitement, and we're going to close our show in a little bit. Right now, let's hear what from this.